happy day. Hope you guys are doing well. Are you sick and tired of losing money on leads? Is it driving you crazy yet? Well, I hope this video finds you well and I hope this helps you solve that problem because let me tell you, leads are important. They are like the lifeblood of you and you making it in this space and you deserve to make it. You deserve to be successful. I'm going to do a dive here into leads and how to not lose money. This happens all too often. So many people get harmed. And one of the major reasons that good agents get harmed is because just like I say at jasonfinalexpense.com, I train, recruit, and partner with some of the most amazing agents nationally. But let me tell you, I always say if you follow my content, vet your trainer. Vet your trainer, okay? It is also important to make sure if you don't have an agency owner like myself vetting lead sources that you need to do due diligence. Vet your lead vendor. There's so many lead vendors on this planet. Some of them can really harm you. Some of them can cost you a ton of money, sell you a bill of goods, and leave you just holding the bag, okay? Totally frustrated. I've done this with a lot of agents. I've stood up and took care of them. Let me tell you, a lot of good agents don't know how to vet lead vendors, okay? And it's all right. It's like a new territory for you. That's why I do this for my agents that partner with me. But when you're a brand new agent, sometimes you don't know what you don't know yet. And I'm going to dive into some lead vendors and how to kind of vet them and some questions to maybe ask, okay? So that'll hopefully help you. I got a call this week from somebody that is a lead vendor, very new to town, okay? Like, wow, here's this amazing lead. It's going to be awesome. It's so great, okay? And I started my process of vetting the lead vendor, okay? How long have you been in business? Have you actually sold insurance off these leads? Have you ever sold business off these said leads? Do you have any agents that have actually sold business off these said leads? If these leads are so great, like, can I chat with a couple agents that use them? That'd be a great question to ask, okay? That'll keep you from getting burnt every now and then, feeling like yesterday's burnt toast. I asked these questions of this cat that called me. It was pretty funny, the answers, not in a ha-ha way, funny like, oof, kind of way, all right? I asked him a very pointed question which put him on his heels. I go, if these leads are so great, how many pieces of business have you personally sold off these leads? If you're telling me these things are like the cat's meow, the greatest thing on the planet, you're a licensed agent, right? How many pieces of business have you sold off these leads? You know what the answer was? Goose eggs, zero. That's a warning sign, okay? And I was like, okay, so in how many how many agents have actually written business final expense life insurance business how many agents have written business on these leads the answer once again was zero my question was okay so you're saying you haven't launched you want to sell something that you don't know is going to be successful or a failure from a lead flow standpoint how can you tell me the buyer intent or the intentionality of the lead flow is it high intent low intent medium intent where is it right you don't know Okay, I vet lead vendors for my agency hard. Okay, I'm not nice about it. That's my job. Okay, you need to take this very seriously to make sure you vet the lead vendors that you're going to utilize for 2021. Okay, there's a lot of them that are kind of like what I'm talking about right now, kind of a little, okay, not upfront, going to get you hurt going to cause you to lose money, okay? If you're a licensed agent and you're trying to sell leads and you haven't actually written a piece of business, shouldn't that be a warning sign? Make sure you vet, vet, vet your lead vendor. If you don't have an agency owner that's making sure you're not the canary, okay? The lead vendors that I utilize, I write business myself, okay? I'm not letting any agent that partners with me get hurt on a lead vendor as much as it depends on me. But if you don't have that conversation with your lead vendor, you should, okay? There's a lot of like aged lead places on this planet, a lot of aged leads. And let me tell you, a lot of them are crap. You're gonna get a stack of leads this thick that you just spent money on, and you're gonna be like, wow, are these things TCPA compliant? Have they been DNC scrubbed? Is this a new lead? When was this lead sent in? Be careful, you guys. The last thing you wanna do is 
not have a lead that you can compliantly call and get yourself just slammed. You do not want to be calling some professional litigator, okay, because you failed to have the lead vetted, okay? Just make sure that you're going through good sources. It's going to help you stay in the business, but make sure that you vet your lead vendor, especially if they're new to town, okay? A lot of times, and these lead vendors want you to be the canary going down the mine shaft because they don't care. They're not going to put themselves at risk. They're not going to actually like write business like you and I do. It's important that whatever lead source you utilize are other people writing business at a good rate. Okay, There's a lot of good lead vendors that you can go with that have been in business for a long time. They've got integrity. they got a good product. And there's a good closing ratio on them. It's proven. Now, sometimes your closing ratio on maybe a batch of leads may not be as high as it was maybe a week before. Sometimes that's just a numbers game, okay? Maybe those particular people don't pick up until the following week or the week after. You're going to get your money. You will close the business if you're using good training, good proven power scripts, you're using your rebuttals, you're having a good attitude, you're coming at it like you should, okay, you're utilizing your fundamentals, you can be very successful using a lead, but every now and then you'll get a little hit of leads that is like, oh man, and then the numbers catch up and it's like you're riding the wave, all these sales are just rolling in deep, and it's because you trusted your numbers, but there's certain lead vendors out there. It doesn't matter how good you are. You're going to need a lot of cannon fodder to get anything done. And what I mean by that is you're going to need a pile of leads to do the same thing that you could with a lot less leads that are higher buyer intent. There's a lot of lead vendors out there that want to charge you thousands and thousands of dollars to set up some campaign, get their special CRM, blah, blah, blah and then leave you holding the bag. Or then you get into a position where leads don't come in. That's scary as a final expense life insurance agent, a Medicare okay, insurance agent. If you don't have lead flow, leads are king. You're going to need them. Okay, 2020, leads were necessary. 2021, you want to write it. You want to work hard. You want to like increase where you were okay, from 2020, and you want to make 2021 20, the best year ever. You've got to be ready with lead flow. You've got to be ready for your year. Don't start off half cocked. Okay, you go into it full blown, foot on the gas, but make sure that you vet your lead vendor. Vet your lead vendor, especially if you guys are alone and you don't have a good okay, agency that you're partner with. Make sure you do your own vetting. Okay, it will take you a lot of time. And some lead vendors may not want to pick up the phone and have that conversation with you like maybe they would with an agency owner. So I feel for you there. Sometimes that does take place. But make sure to the best of your ability that you vet your lead vendor as far as how, what's the closing ratio, has business been written, okay? How long have you guys been in business? Are you guys new to town, okay? Are you guys TCPA compliant? Good question to ask, okay? Especially this day and age. Make sure that Whoever you're utilizing, whether it's direct mail, whether it's a telemarketing lead source, whether it's a funneled Facebook lead source, whether it is an aged lead source that you're using, whether it's a Google word search analytic lead, it, there's so many different types of leads on this planet. You could be doing an inbound TV lead, right? There's a lot of those too, or maybe a direct transfer lead. There's a lot of lead vendors. Just make sure that you are not the canary in the mine. Don't cost yourself money because you failed to ask some questions, okay? Ask some questions before you dump your capital. If you don't have somebody like myself, jasonfinalexpense.com, I vet these lead vendors, it's important, okay? Leads are important, I know this, but good leads are even more important than just having leads, okay? You need doors to knock on if you're a face-to-face person, but when you're in the telesales space, you need lots of numbers to be able to engage the needs and wants of your consumer. It's important, but it's important that you also don't get hurt by putting money out to certain lead vendors that are just going to take your money, and then you're going to get left with the debt, okay? And they are not going to give you the money back. A lot of these lead vendors, trust me, 
it's on you. There's a lead. Have a great day. Okay. So make sure you vet your lead vendors. Go at it deep. And make sure that you understand uh, that hopefully these things have been vetted by your agencies that you work with. I hope they have. I hope that they just work hard, okay? Just like I do for my agents, I make sure that they don't get hurt by some of these places, these fly-by-nights. They abound, okay? They pop up, they go away, and a lot of agents lose money. So don't lose money. 2021 can be the best year, but you've got to be ready to engage and be ready to vet these lead vendors as much as I tell you to vet your training. Also, vet your lead vendors if you don't have somebody like myself that's kicking these guys in the teeth. Because if you don't, you're going to lose teeth. It's going to be a painful process. Have a great night, you guys. I hope you're amped up and ready for tomorrow to relax, okay? But slowly transition because Mondays are coming. It's going to be a great week of success because you have planned for it. You've got yourself ready mentally. You've got yourself ready with proven power scripts. You're ready to go, but you're also vetting your lead vendors if you don't have someone like myself that's looking out for you and mentoring to make sure that you don't get harmed. So you guys that are independent agents that don't have someone looking out for you in this platform, you got to make sure that you're doing it on your own so that you don't get hurt. It may take you a lot of time, okay? I spent a lot of hours Okay, sometimes a week straight vetting different lead vendors, and there's a lot of lousy garbage out there. So be careful, you guys. Vet them, vet them, vet them. Okay, I can't say it enough. I hope you guys have a great night. Rest well. Have a great week, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.